Starfield has officially landed on GeForce Now, and I'm here to give you a quick look at what the title looks like running on GFN's Ultimate tier. To kick things off, let's take a look at the in-game settings, in which the resolution is set to 4K and the in-game preset graphics quality is set to Ultra. The only two options disabled are Motion Blur and Film Grain. And you know what? I gotta say, Starfield looks phenomenal on here. Everything from the close-up on the character models when being spoken to, to the fine details in their clothing and other environmental details just really stand out in a positive way. Previously, only having played this via Xbox Cloud Gaming, I gotta say the difference in resolution being streamed to you is also extremely noticeable if you're just playing on the cloud. Long story short, I would say the difference in visual clarity is extremely substantial and I'll be showcasing a comparison video of the two real soon on the channel. So be sure to subscribe to not miss out on that. When it comes to performance, I'm also happy to report that it really maintains above 60 FPS at all times. At least so far. I haven't reached a major city as I am just starting out the journey, but I gotta say I'm still very impressed with the performance I've seen. Most open areas might drop to 60, but still like to stay above that, and most closed indoor areas seem to sustain around the 80 mark. Once again, this is all on ultra settings by the way, so you can easily lower a few things here and there to get a pretty big FPS boost. Not to mention, the recently announced update that's going to be coming out that will introduce DLSS support is sure to improve that FPS even further. So now that you know that it both looks and plays great, let's talk about the game itself. Like I said, it just got added to GFN, this probably makes it one of the most anticipated titles to arrive on the service since Cyberpunk. Or even Baldur's Gate 3 for that matter. That game also made a huge splash in the cloud gaming scene. Better yet, Starfield supports PC Game Pass, so if you're subscribed, then you have access to it to be streamed via GFN. And I gotta say, the interest is showing, because I'm not being connected to the closest server to where I live, but rather one a little bit further away. Hence the ping difference from my other videos, but I'm more than happy to report that it still runs extremely well. Despite having more ping, I probably couldn't tell you that that was the case were it not for that digital display at the top right. And I gotta say, despite that ping being higher than average, it's also still running better than it did on xCloud for me. But that's besides the point. Starfield overall as an experience is exactly what you should expect it to be, a Bethesda title. Basically it's a title with okayish gameplay that feels just a little bit stiff when it comes to combat, a lot to explore and discover on your own while just traveling around, and one that gives you plenty of choices and options to make throughout your journey. To keep it completely real with you all, I've never been the biggest fan of Bethesda titles in the past, but Starfield space theming definitely has me interested. I want to give it a fair shake as I know a lot of people out there have sworn by this title and have given it rave reviews. Likewise, I also know of a few who have also said it's just not for them. The good thing is that since it's a part of PC Game Pass, you can check it out on the cheap and see whether or not you like it yourself, especially now when it's so easy to stream via GFN. And that's really it. When you take it all into consideration, the whole package, Starfield on GeForce Now via the Ultimate tier with ultra graphic settings, you can potentially have a much better experience playing via the cloud than most people out there playing this on a local device. You don't have to limit yourself to 30 FPS, you don't have to sacrifice graphic settings. And if you're like me with a PC that's starting to get a little bit outdated, you don't have to sacrifice your wallet to have the best experience that this game can offer. Starfield running on GeForce Now's Ultimate tier, like I said in the very beginning, is phenomenal. It's a much anticipated title that plenty of people have been wanting to see on the service. It's a part of PC Game Pass which you can play via GFN Ultimate which means you have more options than ever on how you choose to play it. And I would argue that it offers a much better experience than most people can obtain on local hardware with their current setups. And all of it being streamed via the cloud. To me, this is another Cyberpunk 2077 scenario. When that game came out, people were running into issues left and right or not really happy with the performance they were getting. But as somebody who played it on GeForce Now, I had nothing but a blast playing through that game. And to me, it seems like I'm going to have yet another blast playing through Starfield and Journey Across the Stars. If you want my approval on whether or not you should check out Starfield on GFN, you've officially got it. Let me know what you think, how's your experience? Be aware though, I do expect this to increase the number of users trying out the service. A lot of people have been waiting for this game to get added, and I'm very curious to see how the servers handle it. Baldur's Gate 3 did admirable, and I expect the same here. But who knows, there's a lot of Starfield fans out there for sure. Have you played it yet? How's your experience so far with the title? Let me know down in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful at all, be sure to hit that like button as it really does help the channel out. And if you're wanting more content like this, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell as well. 
Just a quick heads up for the end of video message here, there's a ton of things that have just come out on GFN and I plan on covering quite a few of them. Expect a video on the Crew Motor Fest, expect some comparison videos, likewise maybe a few other titles that I'm very interested in, and make sure you stay tuned for tomorrow's GFN Thursday news drop. Just letting you know so you know what to expect out of the channel in the upcoming days. I want to thank you all for watching and I hope you have a great day. This has been The Virtual Cloud, giving you the latest and greatest on everything cloud gaming related. And until next time, I'll catch you in the clouds.